tutorial will cover um, character data type. That is uh, one type of uh, primitive data type belongs to Java programming language. You simply um, save one single character to uh, a variable. So we declare character type as uh, char cha variable name letter single character A we have to use single quotation marks based on ASCII code which is uh, referring to numerical 65 so here is the one um, character capital A uh, refers to 65 number 4 refers to 4 Variable name namcha refers to single character number 4, which is a character value, not a uh, integer value, based on ASCII code. Okay. Also, we can use um, Unicode. So, if we have a character called capital A with single quotation we can refer to um, backslash u stands for unicode and there is a series of uh, hexadecimal code so 0041 refers to character A unicode 0034 refers to character number 4 we are saving as a, a single character value here. So both of them are same different coding system. So here if you look at um, Unicode character table, character D is 00404, that means we can read this as 0044. Character A, 0040, and then low, sorry, the column is number 1, so we read it as a 0041. Number 4, we read is 3, sorry, 003, column number 4. So it becomes uh, 0034. Okay. That's how you present the character value for ASCII code and then uh, Unicode. Okay, let me use a block diagram. So we have a variable called letter. So one block. Variable name is letter. Actual value inside is character A, single character A without quotation mark. Quotation mark is needed for Java syntax, not for uh, block diagram. So next one variable name numcha. We are saving uh, number four as a character value. Next example, again, we are using a different coding system, but we are saving same value. So this time we are using Unicode. So if you come back to here again, you can lead from uh, row to column. You can substitute last number with the column number. So that's how you lead it. So Unicode 0041 refers to character A, variable name is letter.
Unicode 0034 refers to um, number 4, but we are here saving as a character 4. Again, we lead from left to right hand side. So left hand side, lead low, and then last number, substitute with the column. So here, variable name is numcha. Actual value is number 4 as a single character value. Okay, let's create a new job project with the default main class. Mm, okay, I will say uh, character data type to store single character value using either ASCII or Unicode. Okay, um, character variable equal to single quotation character A. That's a ASCII representation of a capital A. That stands for um, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Next variable numcha. We are storing number four as a single character value, not an integer value. So once we print it out to your standard Apple device. It's going to show you character A, also character number 4 on your console. Okay, here um, clean and build project and then run your source code. A and four, that's correct. Post them up here is a, a character value. Comment out. We can use a um, Unicode representation of character A and then number 4. Okay, backslash U Unicode 0041, that is character A. If we go back here, uh, you read the column, sorry, uh, low. Then uh, let's substitute last number with the column, so we become 0041. Unicode 0034. They represent number 4. Clean and build and learn it. Mm -hmm. 
и принтера и гизвете са има апод. Окей, пос аски код и ден юни код е за нюмерик пелю. Also show you the character value. It means we can use uh, increment or decrement operators to get the next or preceding characters based on ASCII or Unicode representation. So plus plus letter on line number 27. We will uh, increase by one, so we should be able to print next character of, of A. That will be B. Say B because we increased uh, by one. Now we try with the uh, ASCII call representation of uh, character value. Region is going to be exactly the same. Okay, I have to go back to projects. Okay, here. Clean and build and uh, load it. So let me change the value on line number 19. See? then we know that it's going to print D. Okay, that's all, thank you.